what did we make on the 4th of March? Zero of everything. It was a bad day. Hey everybody, this is Mooper Sega on behalf of Mooper Corp. Today we'll be looking at the sum if function, very similar to a VLOOKUP, but sum if we use in a case of when we're looking for numbers. All right, so it's an interesting one in that it can return, it can return a single value, so or it can turn return, sorry, a number of values and it sums those values dependent on the condition. So very quickly, we are going to, to improvise here. We're gonna make a little spreadsheet. Let's say we're running a bakery. Actually, no, we're, we're EVE Online players. Let's say that we are, are running a factory. We, um, we wanna count how many of uh, a certain ship we have made, yeah? Let's say, so let's build this as we go. Item, or even even more precise, Ship name. Um, quantity. Date. Actually, let's just start with that. That is all we need to, to give you an example of how this function works. Now, of course, I'm always of a, of a mind to get at least a little bit of color up in here so that we're not looking at a... So kind of baseline is go for a background color. Let's go something that is not too offensive. Let's get a little font in here. Let's get a bit of agency. And I know that you're looking at me and you're like, this is not important, Mooper. But it is, it is <laughs> super important. Nobody wants to be looking at, at um, an ugly spreadsheet. So let's get some colors in here. Let's go. Now, because we've got a, a dark background, we want something light that stands out at the front. Very simple. Let's get a little border under there. We're going down to more borders. We're going to choose the same color that we did that text in. Actually, let's do it like that. Boom. And now we've got it. It's set. Let's, let's do some stuff. So let's say that now this is a production list. Let's say that this is everything that we have made in the past month. And we are just new bros, so we don't make we haven't made too much. Okay, so the ship, the ship name. Okay, the other day, let's say I made a, a rifter job. I did, I did four rifters and I did it on the second of the third. And then I did some, and then I followed up with some slashes. I did just one slasher. And then I, and that was also on the same day. Second of the third. What about I did some punishes because I was out in faction warfare and before the changes happened and I wanted to like just do some, you know, AFK LP farming. So I did I did at least ten because they get blown up a lot. Third of March I did that. The third of the third. Now now that is that is enough for now to to kind of give us an give us something to work with. So what we're going to do, what we what we want to find in this is, of course, how many rifters have I made in 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 whatever space? All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here. We're going to say rifter slasher punisher executioner Magnate. So these are the ships that we're looking for today and how many we have produced. So let's have a look. So if I'm looking for how many how many rifters have I have I made all up, then I go to something like this equals sum if parentheses. Now the range. So these are again these conditions that where that the that the function looks for the range being where are you looking for the criteria. So the range is this one here, column AA. We're going to call that a, an absolute reference. That'll never change. The criteria being this value to the left, the actual rifter. Now this is we're going to make this an absolute reference in the columns. So e e the column will never change. So we've got that on that side there. 
and and see how I didn't make the two. I didn't make the the row number and absolute reference such that when I go to autofill this formula later, you will see that the the row does change, but the column does not change, regardless of where I I drag that cell. The sum range being column B because we want to return the quantity. I'm going to make that an absolute reference. So column B will never change regardless of where I flash fill that formula. I'm going to close that with uh, another parenthesis. And then there we go. So that has said you have made four rifters in, or, or it sees that you have done four rifters over there. Okay, now I'm going to drag that down. Let's drag it down. Now you can do other stuff here so that these zeros don't show up, um, but we're not going to do that for sake of just giving you an idea of how it works. So as you can see, the rifter is four correct slashes. There is one slasher over there and Punisher 10. Um, now, interestingly, this is where the sum if um, function differs from something like your VLOOKUP because it's gonna, if I was to put in rifter here and, and let's say I made another three rifters on the, on the 7th of March, see how that has changed now. This 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 value is no longer four, it is actually four plus three. So, so what is actually happening? So what is actually happening here? Over here, you can see that every time it sees Rifter in this column, it, it um, grabs the value in the sum range and adds it to every other time that it finds that value. So here it sees Rifter here, so it gets four. It then goes down and finds another Rifter and it gets three and it adds three to four. If you were to put another rifter here with one, it would be four plus three plus one. And that would, this value would be eight. All right. Now you can add other conditions with some ifs functions. Now we are going to go into it just very quickly. So you get an idea of how you can, you can use this in other ways. All right, and very quickly, we're gonna go into some ifs. Now this is a variant on the sum if function, but it just means that you can add more conditions. So rather than looking for how many rifters did I make in this entire thing, let's say how many rifters did I make, but also on the 2nd of March. Now, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna come up here. We're gonna have a little uh, special input column, uh, input cell there. Now we're going to go to our, our formula. We're gonna go equals sum ifs down to some ifs, you can press tab and that, that straight away gets you to the formula. Now, the uh, conditions here are obviously different in that they want the sum range first. So the sum range again is going to be quantity. We wanna know how many did we, did we make on a certain day. That's gonna be absolute. Make that a reference absolute by pressing F4. Now I've just pressed comma to move on to the next condition. Now the first criteria range, in other words, what is the first criteria is gonna be rifter but where are we gonna find find that information? Where are we looking for Rifter? So we're gonna look for Rifter in ship name, yeah? Absolute, and now the actual element is going to be the, the cell directly over there, not absolute. We're going to make the, the column absolute. You don't need to make these things absolute. I like to build them from the get-go, um, putting in the absolute elements so that should you, should you for whatever reason, wanna, wanna move it around later, you kind of have an idea of what is going on. So so that is the the sum range. Now the criteria range one, criteria being the rifter. Now the criteria two. Now the the criteria two is gonna be the date. All right. So we are going to look for how many rifters did we make on a certain day. Now we're gonna input um, the date up the top here. So the criteria range, where are we gonna find the, the date? It's gonna be in this column there. Make that absolute, F4. And now the input cell is going to be this cell right there. Now that will always be absolute everywhere, okay? I'm gonna quickly close that off with a parenthesis and see how it has returned this value here. It said that there is no, we didn't make any rifters on this date. And clearly I haven't actually put in, I haven't put in a date. All right, now I'm gonna drag that cell down, get rid of those because they're not for anything. Say on the 2nd of the March, 2nd of March, what did we make? We made four rifters, one slasher. On the 3rd of March, what did we make? We made 10 punishes. So you can kind of get an idea of how this works.
we are not working in a lot of data here because apparently in in a week we only made this many ships but but you you can understand how it works so if we were making executioners we made 20 also on the second of of the third um, and magnates we made 150 we made 150 magnates on the the seventh of the third so so what we have here this is total ships made let's make that center aligned just because let's make this one center aligned just because let's make this one center right aligned and italic all right so, and so we have total ships made, and then we also have as per as per date. All right, so again, showing you how this one will work. Now, if we asked what did we make on the 2nd of March, it'd be something like this. We made four rifters, one slasher, 20 executioners. What did we make on the 4th of March? Zero of everything. It was a bad day. What did we make on the... Excuse that. What did we make on the 7th? So we made three rifters and, and 150 magnates. I hope this has cleared up the sum if function for you just a little bit. Now to quickly recap the sum if function in the, if you're looking at the um, conditions. So it opens with the range. So where are you looking for the criteria? And then the, the next element is the criteria so what are you looking for in the range that you just listed and then the final element being some range now it's some range okay so some it's summing every time that it sees your your condition that you the that you asked for okay um and that being in this instance the quantity now, if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, you've got your sum ifs function, which has this sum range again, which is quantity, but then it has a number of criteria that you can list. First of all, you need to list where you're going to find that criteria. So that's what's meant by criteria range one. Criteria one being in the next separated by a comma and then criteria range two, where are you going to find your second criteria? And then what is that actual criteria? Um, and this can go on for for a, I, I can't remember exactly how many times you can nest like how many criteria you can actually nest within this function but it's it's a massive amount and if you ever need to to nest that many functions uh that many criteria then then there's probably a better way of doing it um i hope this clears up the sum if function just a little bit for you guys have a terrific day and uh come say hi in Odor trick at my brand new Raitaro. Ciao.